very annoyed alpaca because I've locked them in and annoyed rams because I've locked them in. So now to go up and my fleeces are all still drying and you guys are really pissed off, aren't you? Because I've locked you up. So I'm going to herd the flock. This, these fleeces are going to be for mulching trees and things like that because they're felted uh, together. So they're not good for spinning or anything. So now I'm going to go and get the flock. So we're going to do weaning. Look at all my fleeces drying in the sun over the next few days, hopefully. There's going to be a little bit of misly rain today, I think. But then it's going to be um, sunny and hot Monday and then rain again Tuesday. So hopefully these will have dried out enough and not had too much bird shit in them. Isn't that right, kitty? Loads of growth here in the laneway, the orchard lane. And I'd say the sheep will come down this laneway and want to browse as they go. He's very, very high growth, isn't it, pup? You're worried I'm gonna step on you. Gonna have your life back. There goes a little bit. There's lots of food in there. Inca, leave it. Java, leave it. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Inca, come here. Java, you're in the way. Come on, pups. Come on, girls. Java, stay there, good boy. Java. Yeah, no, you're gonna get treated. Java, leave it. And you're gonna get treated. Come on, girls! Hey, hey, Java, leave it. You can see they're all grazing down there now. Java, leave it. Good boy. <clears throat> she's last year, one of last year's hoggets. So she's going to be turned out with the lambs. I'm going to treat her as well. Java, Java, leave it. Now, I hear a yo is either stuck or something somewhere across the orchard. Hello, you. Oh, it's the yo I have to shear. She's got her head stuck through the fence. Oh, you have made life complicated. Look at where you are. You really have made life complicated. You were not in here last night. Okay, how am I gonna do this? This is gonna be interesting. Okay, I have to climb over there. It's gonna take two hands. So I'll have to put the video down. Everybody's here to help, including the cat. No, you're not gonna jump on my back when I'm removing a sheep. Can you, I've got to go walk there. Can you get out of the way, please? Can you please get out of the way? Okay. Uh, you 
little silly daft tart. Really. Now you're not to get on my back when I'm pulling the sheep out, okay? You're bold. Oh! Well, <laughs> he jumped on my back before I was pulling the sheep out. Okay. Now, let's see. How do I do this? Can you move your floofiness? Can you move your floofiness? Now, how am I going to do this with a cat on my back? Huh. You really have made it complicated. I know, Inca. This is not going to be easy. Inca, can you move? Oh, this is not going to be easy. Well, at least I don't have a cat on my shoulders anymore. that's made it complicated. Out of the way. Now, you go that other way. Go on. Inca, get out of the way. And off to catch up with everybody else. Ah! Well, I've re walked the rest of the orchard and the garden paddock. Need to pass under here is the last place to make sure there's no sound asleep lambs. Nope. No sound asleep lambs. So I'm going to come over and close the top gate because they'll all be grazing now. This, uh, the orchard lane path. Look at this. See, these are thistles. They eat the tops of the thistles. Those are all eaten. Okay, you ladies are doing lovely damage. Well, not damage. Mowing. Come on. Leave it, Inca. Leave them be. Java, leave it. Leave it. Java, good boy.
Yeah, it's got Herb Roberts in her mouth. That, those are um, bullfinches, one of their favorite foods as well. Can I get in there? I know, Inca. It's worse stuff. <laughs> What is wrong with you? You're bouncing all over the place. Can I get in here? Oh, Inca Dink. I can feel your tiny paws on my... <laughs> oh, no, don't push on me. I'm trying to get here to open this up. There we go. Now. Good dogs. Java, leave it. Okay, close this gate. Brindle, come on. They're all like going, what is this? There's no extra grass here. I know, this old lady, I'm gonna have to do a treatment on her. Okay, magic bucket time. <laughs> so I'm about to get the lambs and bring them out here to their field as far from the ewes as possible. When I noticed these cocoons have formed one, there's another one. So they're very fresh. So more butterflies will emerge or moths at a later time. There's so much blooming here at the moment. I know, I know. I've got to go do the, move the lambs now. This is the magic bucket. Hopefully it'll work with the lambs. But it's just wonderful, the wild flowers in here. Look at these vetches, they're so beautiful. That salad burnet, bird's foot trefoil right there. This is a hawkweed. Nap weeds are all about to bloom. The horses are annoyed with me. They get a couple of days in one paddock and then the fence gets moved. Anyway, the, uh, the ladies' bed straw is gonna be blooming soon. Okay, I better go get uh, the sheep, the lambs. I know, you guys wanna get out. I know, I know, nearly there. So, I wasn't filming the uh, separations, but here's the hoggets and yos that lost their lambs and lambs are all here. And then here are all the yos. Isn't that right, Kestrel? So all these ladies are here. And you guys are going to go to fresh pasture. Lucky things. Okay, hopefully it'll go smoothly. As long as nobody comes up the driveway or anything. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that. I need to close this gate over first. Oh, no, 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 no. Back. You guys out. Come on. Wrong way. One. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, the next step is gonna take two hands. Okay. I had to close the gate with two hands. don't understand the language. Come on. Come on. You're blending in there. No, no, you're not gonna get over that. Come on. Go on. See you in a minute. I'll let you out in a few minutes. It took a bit of convincing for them to head in this direction, but they're doing it. Come on, dogs. Uh, well, I'm guarding the gate. You're taking too long. Come on. Come on. Java, no. Java, no. Leave it be. Come on. Java, leave it. Java, no. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Java, no. Come on. Java, come back here. Come on. Come on. Java, Inca, no. These are lambs. They'll scatter in a millisecond. Come on. Come on. Java, Inca, Java, get back here. Java, Inca, leave it. Come on, baby. Inca, Java, Java, come back here. Java. Praying that the ones on the right see where the ones on the left are going. Hopefully. Java, Inca, leave it. Java, eat Java! Come back here. Go on. Go on. Java, Inca, Java. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. There we go. Okay. Java, wait. Come on, babies. Come on. Java, Java, wait. Good boy. Oh, wow. Inca. Wow, we've done it. Oh. Thank goodness that was that easy. I didn't need the magic bucket. Now, they've got the richest field at the moment. There were some bits of nuts in there to tempt them. Now, there's not gonna be a huge amount of roaring because they're kind of hungry, which is intentional. 
So they're going to put their heads down and graze rather than look for mammy. Once they finish those few nuts, I'm going to herd them out. I think they've finished the few nuts. Brindle, leave it. Look at the cleavers are all cleaving onto the lambs. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oceans of delicious, good grass and herbs and legumes. All quietly munching. Look at that. There's a cat somewhere. Hey you, yeah. Oh, you're gonna jump up on me. Hmm? Yep, then you can see the shadow of the cat. You're such a bold cat. Anyway, the lambs are all going off. Whoops. You're such a cat. Daisies are doing really well in this field. Isn't that right, pup? More and more of them are coming back. <laughs> the oxide daisy and the hawkweed. And then you've got the small little lawn daisies. Like there's more oxide daisies up there as well. And the butterflies. Oh, and the grasshoppers. The grasshoppers have returned. I can hear them over there. Grasshoppers singing. There is a grasshopper. Right. Whoop! He's jumped and jumped. So there's oh, there's bird's foot trefoil, buttercup white clover, oxide daisies, hawkweed. So the grasshoppers are squidgy tiny. 
I don't know if you can hear with the uh, huge bit of machinery all the way over there, but the uh, grasshoppers are definitely singing. I can't identify what butterfly this is. They're flying, they're all flying all over the field at the moment. Let's see if we can decipher who it is. Oh, it's gone. I can't tell. Never mind, there's loads of them around. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. Um, you have to go round. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. That's right. You show the others how to do it. Come on. Boys, come on. You really are idiots. Come on, you two. Come here. Come on. There we go. Hey, Brenda, leave it. No, don't crowd me. Jesus. We're going to go up the orchard laneway. Ladies all screaming. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. You're missing it, it's on the ground. Okay, now that's the boys taken care of. See you later. Come on, girls. Oh, you're having a poo. Come on. You're having a poo too. I want you guys to go up into that field. Okay, they're there. Okay, ladies. How are you, Kestrel? <laughs> Don't open that yet. I have to lift the thing up. Okay, there you go. Now, they are on very poor pasture. This has been well grazed because I want them to dry off. And in drying off, they need so they're only getting this paddock here. They can come in here to shelter from the sun. And there's a big water tank over there. But this is the drying off period, which just isn't fun. So they're grazing, but it's poor paddock. So 
hopefully low nutrient value will mean they will dry off quicker. Or at least that's the intention.